So, hello out there. I just wanted to do a quick video of the Griffinettes versus the Dragon Links. And here we have our newly finished prototype. Sorry, my desk is kind of a mess. You see he's got the big old front paws. Big old front bottom paws even. He's kind of fat. Look at look at that fat stomach. So here's kind of a turnaround of him. So you can see his butt. There's a head on. You can see our eyes are not all crazy anymore. Trying to keep him in the light, I'm sorry. I'm not very good at shooting videos or pictures. Big old dragon butt. And here he is, right next to the very first. Well, not the very first, but the second prototype for the Griffinettes, where I actually fixed the pattern. This is actually the one I'm going to be keeping. He was on Etsy, but he is no longer. Let me see him. This fur was actually painted with a brush, not an airbrush, a regular brush. I'm surprised I was able to get those little dots and stuff in there. If you look really closely over here, you can see where his original ears were. <laughs> they got cut off. And that's when I decided to put them on the sides of the head. And he just looks really cute. He's probably my favorite. And just to give you kind of a preview here. Okay, you can see the dragonling right now. Yeah, it's got big old paws. Rawr. These are the paws that we will be casting. They're about, I want to say, 40% of the size, maybe 50. I'll put it right up, up against one here. So. Stop knocking things over, that would be great. So there they are side by side. Much smaller. We may also offer these guys with the smaller paws on the bottom. We're not 100% sure yet, but we're going to try it out because, I mean, yeah, the feet are a little bit big, but that's kind of what I was going for. And here they are once again. I want to say the dragonlings are about. Ooh, a half an inch, maybe an inch shorter than the Griffinettes. And then you can see my wonderful work area. It's a gigantic mess. Look at all that fabric everywhere! Thank you for watching.